All right, hello YouTube. It's first thing in the morning here in Melbourne, but I just saw the most amazing rocket launch. I had to share it. <laughs> I can't not. So Astra is a rocket company that um, has been trying to get, it is up and coming in the small satellite market. Uh, they are on their third launch. They haven't reached orbit yet. So this is their third test launch. And I'll just play the launch and you can just see, and then we'll go over it. Eight, okay, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition, zero. First motion. First motion. Look at that. Tip sideways. It keeps going. Then it switches views, and the cameraman's like, Where's the rocket? I can hear it. <laughs> and there it's still going sideways. Sideways vertically. And now it starts to like pick up speed. Our next objective is Max Q. Got my Gandalf beard going on for all these lockdowns too. So yeah, so let's take it back. So you can see here it's like all the spray things Five, are going. Four, three, two, one. And if we watch it in slow motion, I'm just gonna go frame by frame here. You can see like the engines ignite. Okay, so you can see here it's starting to like these things are starting to take off. Uh, can you see the mouse? I think you can. So that see it's starting to rise. And then it starts to go sideways. And this is the moment where I can tell you I could sense every single engineer involved their heart physically stopping in their chest. So it's going sideways and at this point I just presumed it was going to tip over and explode. But this is where you have a thing called the thrust vector control. So like the engine, um, if the rocket's tipping this way, the engine will go this way to like, oh sorry, wrong way. If the rocket's falling this way, the engine will go that way to try and correct it to stand the rocket back up. So this is a true testament to rocket engineering. The fact that it managed to like maintain being vertical despite having not enough thrust to lift off. You can see the engines firing there through the cloud. It's still going sideways. And then I'll just play it from here because the crowd's kind of tag over. And yeah, now, now you have the cameraman, like, where's the rocket? <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Still going sideways. So clearly, like, one of the engines didn't ignite or it didn't have, like, the thrust to weight ratio it needs to be quite high. So thrust to weight ratio is still more than one because the rocket didn't stop lifting. It always lifted, but just barely and then it's still just like slowly picking up thrust slowly picking itself up still vertical it's like that flight computer earned its money this morning our next objective is max q i really like it how the woman said that because it seems so out of place <laughs> after that really off launch so yeah, now it's like starting to like get, now you got a camera looking down back on the earth from the rocket. Looks like we're getting some really great footage from our onboard camera. And there it goes, it's, well, it's attempting to get off to orbit. It's not going to get there because of the start, but... And here, if you watch the camera, it starts and to spin point, any second now. And then starts to spin. <laughs> that spin is not good. It looks like something's broken off there. Terminate sense. And that's the point at which they launched the, how do you call it, self-igniter. So anyway, I just had to share that video with you. That was amazing. 
true rocket engineering, and I'm sure they would have learned a lot from that, and their fourth test will hopefully be successful. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Ciao.